last year, Poundland introduced an interesting USB charge lead for mobile phones. It's got the standard USB plug on one end, micro USB connector on the other, and it's a string of LED fear lights. And they work quite well, although a lot of people reported that when they plugged theirs in, the first LED would make a loud crack noise and shoot off across the room because they'd miswired it. I, if I recall correctly, there was a resistor in this end and they just miswired it incorrectly. So the first LED was bypassed completely. It was just powered straight off the 5 volts, which is not good for LEDs. And the rest of the LEDs were through the resistor. So this year I saw they had a new set. Uh, the most notable feature being that whereas you got eight LEDs before, you only get six now. And the colours all seem to be just concentrated in red, orange, yellow and green. I didn't see any blue ones at all. And they're also just randomly uh, scattered about through the set. So, um, well, I say randomly scattered about. Yellow, red, orange, green, yellow, red. So presumably it is yellow, red, orange, green, yellow, red, orange, green all the way through. However, I bought a set of these and I plugged it in and notice that uh, the first LED got dim quite quickly. It's one that I actually used uh, a heat gun to actually move the hot melt glue off this for closer access because traditionally there'd either be a resistor in here or in the plug, but I'm not sure there's one in either because these LEDs, instead of drawing about 20 milliamps like the original set, actually draw about half an amp and the LEDs are very, very bright and then the first one in the set starts dimming. I'll, I'll plug it in, that's the best way to show you this. Let's grab a Poundland charger, that seems quite reasonable enough. So you plug it in, this one, these uh, are really quite bright, this one has dimmed down dramatically, it's really not up to the intensity of the others given the sort of, uh, given that I think there's quite a high voltage and not much current limiting. So let's uh, explore that, let's open this uh, heat shrink sleeving and see what's underneath it. I'll zoom in close so everybody can squirm as I use a knife in a reckless manner with a high risk of just sticking it right through my flesh. Ooh, ooh. Here we go. Oh, I should also mention I looked with a thermal imaging camera to see if there were any clues. This LED here was getting up to about 50 degrees Celsius, which is quite high for an LED, uh, an ordinary LED, under normal operating conditions. But the other LEDs were also getting quite hot in their covers. Um, I'm not immediately seeing a resistor in here. So that kind of makes me wonder if there's either a resistor that's been bypassed in the plug or if there's just no resistor at all. Let's see if I can get this sleeve off. I don't see a resistor. So now the next thing to do is to plug that plug into a socket here, just a loose socket, and probe and see if it's just putting 5 volts out to these LEDs. So for that I'm going to use this meter set to continuity. Mode. Mode. There's the continuity peeper. Peep. Mm-hmm. So let's put it on this lead and try it to those pins. Okay, that's continuity. And this lead. Okay, so now let's just try that to resistor and just see if uh, there's any resistance at all. Mm, nope. And now here. Nope. So uh, there's just no resistor. It's basically 5 volts coming out here and going straight to the LEDs without any current limiting. That's not a good idea. That means these LEDs aren't going to last very long. It's also going to pose a bit of a load on your USB power supply since, uh, well, I'll show you. I'll just get one up at the moment. I think it's mostly nuked all the LEDs now because... Uh, Initially it started off at half an amp and then dropped dramatically, so let's plug it into uh, this and see what we get. No, it's still round, well, it's actually round, that dropped down to about, oh it's wavering 400 to 500 milliamps now, depending on the happiness of the LEDs. That's just way too much. Yeah, it's wavering up and down as the, uh, oh they're peaking, yeah those LEDs are very, very sad. They're uh, just going all over the place now. Oh, there's another one that's gone out now. Yeah, they're dying left, right and centre. 
All oh, right, okay. Let's unplug it before the rest of them die. So, um, last year they screwed up, and, well, this year it looks like the same manufacturer with their new set has screwed up again, so really good training in that place. Uh, I'm afraid that, ultimately, I wouldn't really recommend buying these because uh, they do seem to have a bit of a track record of being miswired.